Let's look at Filter Freak for a second here. So the way that this is set up is it has different modes here. LFO mode is free, which means it's not locked to any tempo. It's just modulating. It's The modulation is triggered by an LFO, and you can change the shapes and do all kinds of crazy stuff, actually. So that's kind of not locked to tempo and free. Then there is rhythm mode, and then this, this little switch locks it to tempo. And then anything you do will be rhythmically locked to the tempo of the track. So now we can hear the shapes. Here's a low pass filter, a band pass filter, a high pass filter, and a band reject filter, which is a notch. So you can choose your shape. You can add some resonance, but be very careful. Very, and I'm always joking. I'm not joking right now. Be very careful, you guys, when you play with resonance. You can blow your speakers out. You can blow your headphones out. You can blow your head out. Don't sneeze. Don't don't be very cognizant because this these narrow bur bursts of energy can be painful. So be careful with that. And then this sets it modulating. This is the cutoff frequency of the filter. And then the steepness is here. This is the number of poles. So that's sort of this little section here. And then you can have it going doing uh, quarter notes or eighth notes or whatever or half notes. And then you can make it swing and sh shuffle, which just can give it a little bounce. And then here, hiding here, is a whole bunch of other effects. Uh, there is a saturation mode, and and to get to that saturation mode, you drive the input, and you can then pull back the output. Now, in almost all plugins in the world, it's illegal to have see reds on the input, but not in sound toys. It's legal. It's soft clipping, and it has a very very cool sound to it. And then you can choose from these different uh, saturation flavors here. And they're unpredictable, I'll tell you that. Sometimes you just got to kind of go through and audition them because the way that they're going to react with your sound is a bit hard to predict. Now, here hiding is presets. And then we see these presets and we go out of tweak mode. And you can see the presets. So if you don't see the presets because this little red button is not clicked, click that red button and then you have all kinds of presets. When we deal with sound toys, presets are totally, completely legal. But I do want you to know enough to tweak them if you want to tweak them. So let's do this. We'll go back to default. And let's just listen to some of the possibilities here.
So th those are pretty, they're sort of unpredictable, those saturation flavors, but they're dope. So that's rhythm mode. Let's go back and reset it. Now, there's also envelope mode. So this is, this in this case, the it's not rhythmically triggered. It is dynamically triggered by the threshold. Uh, so it reacts to the dynamics of the input signal. So that is envelope mode. Then there's random mode. And random is so dope because it does random things. And in an overly predictable world, uh, random mode can be a lot of fun, actually. Super cool. Then there's also random step mode, and this is like this. The, the, the modulation is triggered by the input signal. And then there is ADSR mode, which is attack, decay, sustain, release mode. Also, um, triggered by the input signal, but then you have control of the shape of the trigger. So again, you can you can sort of make it however you want, but don't be scared to go hunting and just chill and go through some of these presets and just see what the possibilities are because they're highly engineered. Keep that fader around. Some of them are unpredictable. So as you're going through them, just don't have it too loud, especially Filter Freak, like I said. And Sound Toys is very capable of some dirty, dirty sounds, so don't be scared. So that's Filter Freak 1, and if you want to go crazier, we can go to Filter Freak 2, which is two Filter Freaks together, and they can either go parallel or serial. Serial means it goes into the first one, gets crazy, and goes into the second one. Parallel means it goes into both simultaneously, and it sums them in the end. 
This one, I almost always just flip through the presets because it's very interdependent and complicated, and then I tweak them from there. So needless to say, this can totally spice up transitions and drum fills. You know, when, when we play stuff at office hours, I always like it when you guys like really make the transitions super decorated. And this is like the best decorating tool I've ever come across. So that's Filter Freak and Filter Freak 2.